that was uh, Dragon Dance. Uh, that was the first piece that we uh, pulled out for them and uh, got them going on, and they did a remarkable job with that. Our next piece uh, tonight is uh, called Gentle Wings. Uh, it is a slower piece, really lets them show off uh, their musicality, their expression as they're playing, so hope you enjoy. Also tonight, at our uh, final concert of the year, we hand out some awards uh, for a few individual players who have uh, done pretty well throughout the school year. Our first one tonight, uh, we're, we're going to have two handed out in the sixth grade band. Our first one is uh, for most improved player. Now i got to be honest, out of all the awards I'm giving out tonight, uh, this was a very hard decision because all of these sixth graders have improved so much over the year. I'm very proud of all of them. That it was it was such a hard to to make any one of them could get it. Um, but with uh, with this player um, at the beginning, I could tell that they were really into it. They really liked band. Um, but like like all the boys, I could see them looking over at some fingerings or slide positions of other players. Like oh oh that's that one. Oh, I got it. I got it kind of cheating off the others a little bit. But then, but that's normal. But then as we as we progress, this player also uh, started to shine really well, started to become more confident with their playing ability, and is now doing so well in their section. I am honored to be able to award most improved player for the sixth grade beginning band to Madeline Shaper. <laughs> she loved playing because of how much she continues to play after I asked them to stop. 
<laughs> so many times. But that's okay, that just shows her love. So uh, I think they already know who this is going to now. The most outstanding player of the year for sixth grade beginning man goes to Raylan Quinn. <laughs> for the sixth grade. Uh, this is entitled Arikara. Uh, this is a step up uh, in difficulty from the other two pieces, so, and they have done it a tremendous job. So I'm very proud of them. Arikara.
so magic? Ah, uh, that's a very fun piece. I like that. We're going to mention that. Um, next up, we have Too Beautiful for Words. Hope you enjoy. He's done so, so much. Uh, and he he does everything from this band to jazz band. He does a lot. Uh, in jazz band, he always wants to take a solo. He wants to continue to get better with that all the time. Uh, and he always asks questions. How can I improve? And I love that. So our most improved player of the year goes to Xander Stamps. <laughs> that she should be a contender for this award. She, um, uh, to start, she did a uh, marching band in the fall as a set of three and killed it. Then she goes on to uh, Isma's, uh, not only Isma solo ensemble, she goes to Isma state solo ensemble playing the highest level of music, solo music for junior high or high school in seventh grade and gets a gold with distinction and a state solo ensemble. And she was sent to Marimba for our Ignite Winter program that's combined with Triton. She was sent to Marimba and absolutely killed it there as well. So I'm very pleased to announce that our most outstanding player of the year for the junior high band goes to Emma Wang. <laughs> Uh, 
we have our uh, director's award for band. This goes to an eighth grade student uh, and the junior high band that has really went above and beyond um, this year. Uh, this person, uh, he was in marching band this year as well. And at first I thought he hated it, not gonna lie. And I think he would tell you the same thing. But then as the year went on, I saw him uh, bonding more and more with the other students in the band. And he really fell in love with the band. Uh, he tries to help out in class a lot, helps me out a lot, asks if I need help. Uh, and not only that, this year when, uh, for junior high band, he's playing the tuba. He usually plays baritone, but he had decided that he wanted to try out tuba. So our uh, director's award for band this year goes to Nolan Roots. <laughs> Thank you. 
panel uh, group for the evening is our high school concert band. Uh, I'm very proud of everything they've accomplished as well. Uh, at ISMA contest this year, we received silver. They did a nice job there. And And this, uh, this group is also comprised of many students who are not in band for a semester because they uh, chose not to do marching band, which hopefully they'll change their mind about this year. But um, they, a lot of them are back at band uh, this spring semester after not having done it all through the fall. And But even still, they're doing an outstanding job. So here is incantations.
And now we have a few awards to hand out for high school as well. Our first award is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, which unfortunately has not come in yet. So they are getting this uh, placeholder instead. <laughs> Um, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, well actually, both awards uh, being handed out tonight to the high school are both very uh, distinguished awards. A lot of high school bands around the country hand out these awards to recognize excellence in their craft and dedication um, to their programs. Uh, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is of course for a jazz musician. Uh, both of these awards will be going to seniors, but the uh, Louis Armstrong uh, Jazz Award is for a jazz musician who uh, loves jazz, loves to play, dedicates themselves not just to this group, but to the jazz band as well. Uh, the person receiving this tonight, um, I will say, missed a few rehearsals. Well, what can you expect at 7 a.m.? Um, but he consistently uh, loves to play. He plays all the time. He comes in uh, to the band room during A-Lab to practice consistently. Uh, he, he always asks me to take things up an octave even though they shouldn't be up and under all the time. Um, so uh, without further ado, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is going to uh, be awarded to Austin Bowie. <laughs> Sousa uh, Award for Band. This goes to a very uh, distinguished uh, senior as well in the program who has dedicated hours to the band department as a whole, not just in concert band, but uh, this person has dedicated themselves to uh, concert band, jazz band, pet band, marching band, all the bands. Uh, he goes uh, above and beyond with the playing in that respect. He also um, this year took a solo to solo and ensemble. Uh, he also went to state and got gold at state solo and ensemble. He did an amazing job. Uh, we're, well, we're gonna say he got gold. Uh, my mistake caused him to get solo, but oh, my mistake. His score earned him a gold, so that's what we're gonna hold. Um, he got, he received gold at state solo and ensemble, and he uh, just, again, just like Austin, loves playing, he's always playing during a lot. We play duets together a lot because he's a whole gosh one. And I love playing the guys. It's good for both of us, good for Sidney. So without further ado, the John Phillips Sousa Award for Band goes to Devin Hyder. <laughs> stand up and be recognized for all of their hard work. We have Austin Billiter, Devin Hires, we have Skylar Riley, we have Gavin Cox, and we have, that's it. <laughs> Thank you again for coming out tonight. Um, this is our final piece for the program, Rogue One from Star Wars, so I hope you enjoy the last
Thank you again for coming out tonight. One more round of applause for all of our amazing <laughs>